A new bipartisan House committee focused on countering China held its first hearing last night, and those lawmakers are investigating a series of warnings from the Biden administration over the spy balloon incident, China's close ties with Russia, and even allegations about TikTok. Scott McFarlane has more. It's a wave of crises involving China. They just shot it. The spy balloon shot down, worries of an invasion of Taiwan, whether it will provide lethal aid to Russia, and growing probes into whether COVID first leaked out of a Wuhan lab. We may call this a strategic competition, but it's not a polite tennis match. A newly formed U.S. House Select Committee on China warned the icy relations between the U.S. and China are entering a deeper freeze. What Xi Jinping sees is a fleeting window of opportunity, an opportunity to move while he perceives weakness in the United States. CBS News contributor and former Trump National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster says there are rising fears of China joining Russia in an alliance in the war in Ukraine. Does that extend the war? Yes. It feeds Putin's ATM. It allows him to continue to fund his war-making machine. Of policies. There will be order. Protesters briefly interrupted the Tuesday night hearing, one with a sign, America's China is not the enemy. World. Meantime, bipartisan scrutiny is also growing over TikTok and whether the company's links to China could make it vulnerable to propaganda, despite a spokesperson saying TikTok is a U.S. company bound by U.S. law. It gives the Chinese Communist Party the ability to manipulate our social discourse or to amplify what tens of millions of Americans see. Also last night, FBI Director Chris Wray warned China is blocking investigations into the original source of COVID. The FBI has for quite some time now assessed that the origins of the pandemic are most likely a potential lab incident in Wuhan. So here you're talking about a potential leak from a Chinese government controlled lab that killed millions of Americans. Despite Ray's comments, which coincide with the latest findings of the U.S. Department of Energy, the White House stresses there's no consensus on the cause or the origins of COVID, and the investigation continues. Amber So, you know, this is a discussion about sort of all, ma all manner of national security concerns. Why was it in prime time? This is not usually the type of committee hearing that happens in prime time. They wanted to raise the profile and raise a perhaps brighter spotlight to shine on these issues involving China. But there's something else, Anne-Marie. The new House Republican majority has tried to create some symmetry with that uniquely high profile House January 6th Select Committee, which captured the nation's attention last year. And they used the same committee hearing room for this meeting, hmm. and they did it at the same time of night in prime time, trying to perhaps mirror the attention received by the House January 6th Select Committee. I don't suspect they achieved that goal precisely, but that may have been part of their aim. Yeah, maybe the subject matter is not quite as uh, explosive, though I'm pretty sure there are a lot of content creators out there that are very concerned about the possibility of TikTok being wiped off of their uh, many, many devices. Because that's one of the things that has been brought up by this committee. They put forth plans to promote legislation that would give President Biden the authority to ban TikTok in the U.S., not just on government devices, but on everyone's device. How would something like that work? It's really a politically fascinating issue. In addition to being quite important, there is this unique coalition of bipartisan members who are concerned about TikTok, concerned about the leverage TikTok could impose on Americans to potentially propagandize. So here's what's happened already. There's been legislation passed by the previous Congress ordering the Biden administration to begin the process of removing TikTok from federal government employee phones. That process is underway with a few weeks left to get it done. Congress also moved to ban TikTok on its own government issued phones. So internally they're making these moves, but now there's legislation to try to empower the president to do something more sweeping. There's an unclear trajectory, Anne-Marie, to any legislation at this political mm. moment in this politically divided Congress. But there is a political coalition of a unique political complexion 
that has formed over TikTok. So it's unclear where this goes next. So, you know, you listed a bunch of topics that I got to say were, have been in the headlines maybe over the last three or four weeks, right? Spy balloons, uh, dangerous uh, Chinese apps, um, COVID, the root cause of COVID. All hot topics recently. But what's the overall goal of this committee? I think to synthesize them all, to mm. show there is this common thread that connects all these things that you correctly um, diagnose as being quite newsworthy and headline worthy over the past few weeks, to show that there's a common bond, one that the federal government needs to perhaps be more aggressive in tackling or dealing with. And that's what this committee is going to do moving forward. We'll see if they can keep a profile for their work the same way they did last night when they conduct their next set of hearings between now and the end of 2024. It should be interesting, Scott. Thank you.